CJ? Well, just supporting my guys, you know, just um, a lot of great relationships I have here still, you know, so, you know, just appreciate my brothers for supporting me last year, and I just wanted to return the favor, you know, and, you know, just show them some love, and I think everybody did a good job today, so I'm proud of them. How special is it for you just when you step back in this building? Um, it's tremendously special, you know. I've, I've, I've built a lot of, you know, great relationships here that I'll cherish for the rest of my life, man. And I remember coming here, somebody told me, like, it's not a four-year decision, it's a 40-year decision. And I feel like for the next however long God allows me to be on earth, man, I definitely know that this is a uh, second home to me. And, you know, I'm proud enough to be able to come back and still get love. And, you know, I really do appreciate everybody for, you know, watching me now that I'm in the NFL and things like that. But, you know, I definitely, Columbus has a special place in my heart. Yeah, this well, time a year ago, you had one of the great workouts, you know, we've seen here, throwing the football. Does it does it seem like it's been a year? Nah, Season? man. I mean, it's flown like, by. Yeah, it's flown yeah. by. It's full 360. Like, you know, you, I remember walking through, like, the halls and, you know, uh, playing here and wanted to get on the wall so bad of, like, just – that was really the goal of like being the first round, being a first rounder, being up front, um, being in the NFL honors where they put those guys, being where all the, the draft picks were at, um, you know, and now that I'm walking through the halls and I see myself up there, it's kind of cool. So, you know, just a lot of great people poured into me, Coach Mick, Coach Day, uh, Coach Fitch, Coach Dennis, you know, just a lot of great people, man. So it's, it's a blessing to be able to come back. Will and Devin had the chance to throw today. How valuable is it for them and how they look? They look great, and it's great. You know, I had the opportunity to throw to Christian Garrett, and it's good to kind of, like, feel the the pressure, quote-unquote, of, like, pro day um, early. So whenever they get their opportunity to do theirs, uh, I think they'll do a great job just knowing that they have experience doing it. So I thought they did an amazing job. Did you envision when you were here a year ago that you would accomplish everything you did as a rookie? Um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say yes or no. You know, I, I, Coach Day used to always tell me, like, before games, don't have any expectations, just go out there. And go one and know every play, every drive, every game, and just try to win that play. And um, it's kind of I approached the league, and of course, like I had like a a goal in mind of like playing well, but I couldn't tell you that I was gonna do everything I did or didn't do things that I uh, wanted to do. Um, I kind of just really wanted to, um, you know, put a good foundation on what Houston Texas football was. And of course, I had great coaches and teammates up there to help with that. You know, D'Amico um, is a great head coach and had a lot to do with it, and Bobby as well. So, you know, it's been amazing. But I couldn't just say, yeah, I have had a year like I had just last year around this time. What are your expectations for Marvin as he gets ready to go on this journey? Um, I think Marvin, like I was telling somebody earlier, he's NFL ready. Like, if, if you were building, everybody talk about this prototype guy, but a lot of prototype guys don't have a, a work ethic like he does. So that'll take him as far as he wants to go. So I'm just excited to see. Um, just him blossom as a man, you know. Uh, he's always kind of been like a sheltered person, but he's his personality is definitely picked up. Um, and he, you know, he's he's a, a great talent, but you know, he's even a better person. So I'm super excited for him and his family. Um, and he has a lot of a lot of great um, football to be played. And you know, I'm really just uh, proud of him and all the work I've seen him put in is just super inspiring. CJ, when did it strike you this past season? Because you, when you make that jump from high school to college, college to the pros, you wonder. Hey, is my game maybe not really my game's good enough? But how will I compete? When did it strike you that you were you were worthy, so to speak, and then some? Um, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, no, no, for sure. It's uh, like playing up, you know? Yeah, I mean, I played up my whole life. I've always played yeah. above my age, and kind of like that's how I felt coming into the league. Of like, you're with grown man, you're you have a lot of um, expectations of being a second pick, you know. So for me, um, I probably honestly like OTAs, man. I started making plays. And then we hit um, training camp, and I started making more plays, and it started becoming slower and slower. And then we played our preseason game and against New England, and everybody thought I was terrible, which is <laughs> <laughs> something that, that uh, I'm not uh, not used to. You know, I, even playing here, yeah. when we played Minnesota that first game, everybody thought I was ass. Uh, <laughs> but proved them wrong, just like I proved the other people wrong for the, from the Patriots game. So, uh-huh. no, it's just when you're young, you don't you make mistakes. You know, that just kind of comes with the territory. And um, honestly, like coming to the league, you have to understand. Hey, those guys make plays too. You know, sometimes you might throw a perfect pass, but it just gets intercepted because those guys are just as good as you are. Yeah. You know, so uh, for me, the way I, I try to separate myself was just film study and being myself. You know, everything that I that got me to the point where I was at, I just kept doing it and just kept going, kept going, never looked back, never put my head down. You know, I think that was a big thing for me. What did you do to not just perform but to win? 
Uh, to win, man, it's hard in the league, man. Every game counts because you only get 17 of them, you know. And uh, especially like those early games, you have to want you want to get on a roll um, and, and start building wins. And that's something that we did, man. We got a good feel for each other. Didn't start off good, but you know, somehow he starts how you finish. So, you know, um, man, a lot of games come down to the fourth quarter, and it's really like some 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 fans get mad at me because I take a check down or I throw it out of bounds. <laughs> But you have to play field position. Like, field position is super important in the NFL because um, you're not going to score every drive. It's just not possible. So, um, you know, just playing that, that that game in between the game is very smart to get those wins. Yeah, but that's what you showed. Your yeah. college career was and how it started kind of slow. And it felt like that Rutgers game was that moment for you here where people got to see what you were really about here. Was there a game like that in the NFL for you last year? Uh, I would say, like, the Colts-Jaguars game, like week, week two, week three. Like I played good against the Colts, and then going to Week Three against the Jags, uh, I had a really good game with my teammates. We 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 had a complete uh, three phase football game with special teams, defense, and offense all fitting together. And you know, and it was special, man. And after that, we were like looking at each other in the locker room, and then we beat the Steelers. Uh, I think we ended up going, we lost to Atlanta, and then we came back and beat the Saints, and we were three and three at bye. And then just kept rolling from there, you know. So that was about the point where I was like, okay, like starting to slow down for me. What's your advice to Will Howard and Devin Brown here locked in a battle? You were in a, you know, battle, so to speak, before. Um, about this place. You know? Yeah, I mean, be a good teammate, you know, do it for everybody in the room. I think something that, like, me, Jack, and uh, Quinn, <laughs> shout out Mike Hall, man. You know? <laughs> Light, bright shirt, whatever, with your tennis ball. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but nah. Um, <laughs> One thing that me and Jack and Quinn and, and Kyle, you know, we all had really good relationships off the field. Um, and we all really wanted to see each other do well. It wasn't like, of course, like everybody wanted to play and everybody wanted to start, but like it wasn't out of ill will, you know. It wasn't like we were trying to like cut each other in line or just be weird, you know. It was really everything was natural. And I think that that's the reason why, you know, we've all had some of the successes, you know what I'm saying? And um, I think for those guys, like just doing it for the right reasons um, and just, you know, listening to, listening to the coaching and, um, it's not going to be easy, you know, like <laughs> one point in your career at Ohio State, people are going to hate you and they're going to talk crazy, but it's all to prepare you for um, what's to come next. What did you think of the way Kyle played yeah. last year? And then just what are your opinions or thoughts on like how that ended? Yeah, yeah I, think, I think Kyle held his own. You know, I think Kyle definitely um, came in and, and did a good job of uh, spreading the ball around. I know Marv got a lot of extra, uh, a lot of extra care, um, a lot of cloud coverage and like that, people pushing the coverage towards him. So I thought he did a good job of giving it to K, giving the Mac when he was in. And um, I think Coach Day did a good job of trying to spread it around. The run game got going a little bit um, towards the back end. And um, of course, everything come down to the game, man. And uh, even for me, like you look back and you just miss plays, man, you know? So I think, you know, he'll look at his career here and you know, he'll be very appreciative of it. I think he did a, a solid job. And you know, I'm super proud of him. He'll always be my brother. Were you shocked that he decided to leave? Yeah, a little bit, man. I, I, I was, um, I wasn't in contact with him, um, and I've seen what happened. And he hit the portal, and I was, I was, I hit him up, and uh, we had a couple conversations, and you know, everything makes sense of what he was thinking. And you know, sometimes, man, just um, you outgrow places, you know what I'm saying? And, and I think that was his thing. He just outgrew uh, what was going on here, and uh, wanted to go see other things. And you know, sometimes, like that's what you need to do. That's, God's plan for his life. CJ, you, you proved this here. You proved this here, and you proved it last year with the, with the Texans. Fourth quarter, some guys have it, and some guys don't. You understand what I'm saying from a mm -hmm. poise standpoint and stuff. Uh, did that stand out to you as much as anything else that uh, you were prepared for those moments? Yeah, man. I mean, what, um, what, what, is, what, what is different in those moments? I mean, you got to be able to, you know, slow the game down. I think that comes from just preparation. You know, Coach Day was really hard on me early on about prepping the right way. He taught me how to prepare. Um, like a pro, and I use those skills that I, I learned with him now. And when those like clutch moments happen or things like that, like honestly, those are probably like my most calm moments, just because I know I put the work in, and there's really nothing to worry about. Like um, the worst thing that can happen is we just don't win, and I, of course that sucks. But it's like you got to be able to learn from that. So um, I, I don't think every L, I always say, this, every L isn't a loss unless you until you learn from it, you know. So um, a lot of those moments, man, it's. Like, man, I'm, I'm, if I throw a pick here, okay. If I throw a touchdown, I'm the hero. You know, so you're the hero of the zero. You know, for me, uh, I, I'm okay with living with that because that's what I sign up for. So, you know, um, those moments, I'm, I'm, I try to stay as calm as possible, just breathe, pray, you know, um, and understand, man, 
if I really did put in the work like I said I did, then it'll come. Uh, um, everything will happen the way it should. CJ, what's one thing about Ohio State that prepared you for the NFL that maybe you didn't expect? Um, just like the, the coverage, um, the media coverage, the you guys of the world. <laughs> uh, you guys were amazing. I mean, you know, of course, you guys did piss me off at times. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but, no, yeah, 100%. You know, you guys are critics and the NFL. Everybody knows how to be an NFL quarterback nowadays. And mm -hmm. everybody knows how to be CJ. And everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I got a lot of that here. And, you know, uh, early on, I didn't know how to handle it, to be honest. Um, and it was hard for me. But, you know, I had a lot of great um, – uh, mentorship like my agent David, um, Justin Fields, you know, Deshaun Watson, um, a lot of OGs in the game, Cam Newton, like that I seen do media and things like that, uh, that helped me a lot. And just being myself, you know, like I can sit up here and crack jokes with y'all and just being myself, you know, early on you would try to like answer everything the right way or do it like, man, whatever you're doing, like I just try to be myself. So. Um, that's something that definitely prepared me for the, from uh, Ohio State to the NFL. Does the NFL the mental, prep the mental preparation and the study of the game and everything you did here, how how ready did you feel for the NFL from that standpoint? You know, um, <laughs> Mike, Mike, tennis shirt. Yeah, <laughs> good work, four seven. Uh, <laughs> but one one moment that kind of sticks out for me, I was in the combine. I don't know if I ever told this before, but um, Andy Reid pulled me to the side and. That was like the moment I was like, okay, because he was like telling me like, man, you'll be just fine. Like, just keep doing what you're doing. Like, you can tell that he told me that he you can, he could tell that I prepared the right way, just how I played the game my uh, last year here at Ohio State. And um, so like that gave me a lot of confidence and like that I was doing the right things preparation wise. And um, you know, he's he's probably the greatest coach ever, especially offensively. Um, that you know that gave me a ton of confidence and um, appreciate him for even you know doing that because you know they're not taking no quarterback they got one of the best ever so you know it's uh it's been a blessing you know just to get a lot of good feedback from guys like that but um that was definitely uh, a good moment for me to know that i was preparing the right way